there. Today's video is the top 10 essential tools for homeowners that are underrated and overlooked by most. Um, as usual, I will put links in the description below to everything that I mentioned. This video assumes that you've already got a basic toolkit. This is things to help you increase your productivity level. I watched all the tool reviews of everything that was out there and I took all that information and combined it with my 25 years of experience and really came up with the best list of tools that are under $20 that you can get today that'll really help save you time uh, and make you more productive and effective. So number 10 on the top 10 essential tools list under $20 are mini tweezers. These tweezers are the best tweezers you can get out there. The, the ones that you have with the slide, it's the, the angled side that you get at the um, you know, Rite Aid or CVS or whatever kind of um, store, they just don't work. These ones, I've been using these for years. I keep them in my wallet and I can't tell you how many times they've saved me from a lot of pain in my hand from a splinter. The other thing about there is make sure you got some glasses because you got to really be able to see that tweezer. Sometimes I'm wearing three pairs of these to really see, not the tweezer, but to see the splinter. Next, coming in at number 10 is the Vice Grip Crescent Wrench. Vice Grip Crescent Wrench is super awesome. You can set it to the size and then grip it down like a vice grip. Really helps in those cases where you really need the bolt, the wrench to stay on the bolt. For example, if you're putting in a screw or taking in a screw from the other side. And coming in at number eight is the Robo Grip uh, Wrench. I really like this. It's as opposed to a channel lock, it just automatically locks. It's a new addition for me. I saw this on one of the other videos that I was reviewing. I liked it so much that I added it to my kit. All right, number seven, back to number seven, telescoping magnet with the LED light. These guys are great. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've dropped a screw and needed something like this to pick it up. This, again, is a new addition to my kit that I added after watching all the reviews and deciding that this one was so good I needed to add it to my kit as well. And coming in at number six is the pick and hook. So again, I guess I'm really big on when I drop things, having things to help me pick them up because a lot of times I drop stuff. So, and I don't think I'm the only one. So this hook is really good for pulling out bolts. I mean, excuse me, pulling out nuts uh, and little things that you get dropped in little holes or if you get them stuck inside of a, of a socket, a nut, you still pull it out. And then the pick is really good for cleaning out debris inside of a little hole if you got to drive a screw in or something like that. All right, and coming in at number five is the DeWalt Organizer Box. What I like about it is these metal clips and the removable bins. So the removable bins and the metal clips are really great. Um, if you decide to go with another system, you know, I, I, don't, it, I think they're all great as long as it's got really tough metal clips because this is where they break. A lot of times I find guys, they stack their tools on top of each other inside of their totes, or they'll be working on a job site and they'll place materials one on top of the other. So the rule that I always try to tell the guys that I'm working with is don't bury anything. Always stack things next to each other. So when you have a small tote like this, you can put small tools in them or small material in them. So you want to organize your tools according to size. Keep the small things in the same small area according to function and to size. So this really helps you do that with the small tools and the small materials and the small screws and the other things that you have in your um, garage or shop. All right, going on to number four is the mini ratchet screwdriver. The mini ratchet screwdriver is a lifesaver. For those few times when you can't get a screwdriver underneath something to unscrew or screw a screw in. Some Ikea thing that's breaking and you, you know it's all put together and you, you have to get that thing tightened or loosened or so many different applications. This is a lifesaver. All right, and then on to number three, such an underappreciated tool, the bull nose pliers. So a lot of people use these for their cutting. I actually use them most for removing nails. So if you get a nail started and then you start pulling it out with the bull nose pliers, you can do that without damaging the wood and you get a lot more leverage in a smaller amount of space than with a hammer or with a big bulky uh, cat's paw. Number two is the screwdriver magnetizer. I love this thing. So there's so many times, again, I guess one of the themes of this video is we drop stuff and this really helps you not drop stuff and it also helps you hold things when you don't have an extra hand. So 
putting magnetizing your screwdrivers is so helpful when you have to hold a screw and you don't have a third hand. And last but not least, the number one most important underappreciated tool is the impact ready multi screwdriver. I like this Milwaukee one that ratchets, makes it so much easier on your hand when you can ratchet in one direction or ratchet in the other direction or set it and lock it so that it doesn't ratchet. Um, so that is your number one. So number two and number one are kind of a pair together. So you got to get both. I, I, if you're going to get one thing, this is the one thing to have. Because that will really, every time you got to drive a screw, that's going to make your life so much easier and save you so much time. And then honorable mention goes to the bit extensions. Bit extensions you can use with your screwdriver, you can use with your impact driver, you can extend them all the way out, you can extend them short. They uh, make life so much easier when you're trying to angle something and you just can't get the right angle from so close or it's really far back. Um, the last thing that I'd like to talk about is tool totes. Um, having a small tool tote with an open end that you can find your tools is really critical in terms of your organization of your tools. Any high quality open tool tote so you can see your tools and stack them with your tools facing up and organized by type is really going to take your tool organization to the next level. I've set a couple of the productivity principles already. Um, no burying, place for everything and everything in its place. So you want to be sort of anal retentive about it. So just try to find a place for every little tool that you have, put it back in its place every single day. No one's going to be perfect, but the more you do that, the better and more productive you're going to be no matter what you're doing. Uh, and then another productivity tip is label everything. Label your totes, label where things are going to go. I recommend you do it on little pieces of tape because your labeling system will evolve over time. On to the sustainability tips. We already talked a little bit about it. Borrow first, buy second. Avoid shiny object syndrome. If you want to go out and buy stuff because it seems like the next coolest thing, I've got a bunch of dead tools in my toolbox that I never use anymore because I thought like, oh, that's so awesome. But I didn't really, really need it. Just buy the things that a good rule of thumb is if you've already seen that you could use this in the past on something that you did, that's a good that's a good time to buy it. And then if you want to go to take sustainability to the next level, look up the company's sustainability policies, see who owns them, and send them an email if you can't find any of their sustainability policy. The companies do really respond to customer feedback. That's it. I hope this was valuable. Please send me any questions, leave comments below. And uh, I'm Mike Stokes reminding you that with the choices that we make together, we make the world. Have a great day.